In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a bash script to download multiple files from the internet. And there's kind of a backstory to this. I recently had my yearbooks digitized through a service and then they put them on their website and I went to look at them and my ultimate goal was to uh, have a PDF copy of this, but they were all individual images and I didn't want to sit there and download all the images. So what I did was I wrote a script to do that and I'm going to show you pretty much the step-by-step -step of what I went through to do that. So here is the website with my yearbook. If I click on the yearbook either here or flip through it right here, um, you'll, you'll be able to see it page by page. So the first page looks like this and then there's a couple blank pages, actually three blank pages and then a map of our school. So let's go back to the first page and then uh, they want you to buy it. They limit the amount that you can preview here. So let's go back to the first page. I'm gonna open up Chrome Dev Tools and I have it filtered. I'm on the network tab here. It's probably default filtered by all, but I can filter it by image. And you'll notice if you look very closely at these little icons that this one right here matches up with the first page in the yearbook. Okay, so uh, what's cool about Chrome DevTools is you can uh, you can see the URL here, but you can actually right click on it and copy the link for this image. Okay, so I'm gonna open up a new tab here and paste that in and we get just that image. Okay, it's called 0001.jpg. Now that to me is a clue that most likely the next page is gonna be called 000 2.jpg but let's let's confirm that let's flip through to the next page and see if we can see that loaded somewhere down here and there's a lot to sift through um, but maybe we can spot it somewhere in here and I think I just saw it there it is so uh, it looks like it's pre-fetching page two three four and five which is great. Now the only problem is all this extra garbage after the question mark sign, which I figured out you don't actually need that. It'll still serve the image. So what I can do in the browser at least is go to, instead of 0001, I can go to 0002 and that was a blank page. So was three, um, so was four, but let's go to page five and you'll remember that that's the map. So. Basically, all we need is a W, or all we need is a script, some type of shell script or a bash script to download these programmatically. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that, but I'm going to show you how to get one page first, and then we'll put that in a loop to get all the pages. So uh, let's go back to the first page, and we're going to copy this URL. And very simply, let's use the wget command. And I'm, I'm working in terminal here. I'm on a Mac, uh, you might be on Windows. Uh, you might have to install the wget command if you're on Windows or even on Mac. I'm not sure if I installed it, but um, anyway, go ahead and make sure you have that command which downloads files from the internet and then you can paste in that URL and hit enter and that's gonna download it right to my computer. So in this directory, which I'm working out of, uh, we now have a file called 0001.jpg. So let me find that on my local file system here. And we can see this happen in real time. So there is that image on my local file system and it looks like that. So let's, uh, I don't think we need this anymore. We'll just minimize it for now. And we'll put these guys uh, above and below each other so we can monitor what's going on. All right, so we can do the same thing manually, right? We can do another wget request to download the second page and that'll show up in our folder. But I'm not gonna sit here and type uh, every single page number. That's what scripts are for. So how do we accomplish that? Well, there is, uh, we'll build up to it, but there is a way that we can get there. Um, if we wanted to do something like print out a whole bunch of numbers in a row, we can do echo one dot dot 15. Okay, this is just some bash shell syntax and that's going to print one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to 15. Um, but the thing is about this down here, these numbers are padded, right? They're zero, 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 one. So we need to somehow show that and bash is really cool. We can pad the numbers like that. It's going to go zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, all the way up to 15. Um, we need it to go, I think I figured out before that there is 216 pages. So we're going to need two zeros padding this. 
So we'll echo from 0, 0, 0, 001 to 216. And there we go. But actually, um, the URL has three zeros, so we'll need three zeros all the way up to 216. So that is a good start. Now let's do this in a loop and have them print out on their own line. So that's going to look something like this. For, uh, we're going to make a variable called p, p for page, in 0001.216. So for each page in for each page from 0001 to 216, do echo dollar sign p to reference that variable up here. Done. So now we have all the way from 0001 here, all the way down to 216 down here. So let's take that a step further and do, uh, let me just start over, 4 p in 0001.216, do this, we're going to do echo, okay, and it's going to be a little bit different syntax this time, we're going to close and close everything in quotes, and this time to reference uh, the page number, we're going to do dollar sign open brackets p close brackets, close bracket, and that is going to expand, because we're in the quotes here, to the number, and then we'll do .jpg because that is the file extension here. So let's see what that prints out. Oh, and then we have to do uh, done. Very good. So we're, we're pretty much building up the, the name of the file here. Uh, what about everything that comes before that, right? So we have, if we go back to the URL, what was the URL? Uh, this right here. Let's prefix that. Everything, come on everything from here to here. Let's tack that on the beginning. And let's see if we can reuse this up here. So uh, pretty much we'll paste that in right after the quotes, right? So for every page, echo the URL uh, .jpg. Let's see what that does. So now we have a list of all the URLs in all the pages in the yearbook. That's perfect. Now, to top this off, instead of printing these names out on the command line, let's just replace echo with the wget command. And what we're gonna see after we execute this is all these files fill up from page one to 216, the last page in the yearbook, in this uh, directory down here. So let's go ahead and do that. And because we had uh, we already had page one and two in there and made a copy of those, so we'll just get rid of that. But you can see that um, it's programmatically going through one at a time, downloading each one of those pages. So I'll let that run for a bit and catch up with you when it finishes. All right, guys, a couple minutes later, we have all 216 pages of the yearbook downloaded onto our file system as JPEG images. And the last uh, but optional step is to save these as a PDF. So at least on a Mac, you can highlight all the pages, right click on it and open with the preview app. And that'll open up off screen, I believe. Yep. And uh, what I found that worked the easiest, uh, you can't see it, but uh, we're basically gonna go to file print over here. This, this is on my second monitor over here. So file print, and then that'll pop up this dialog box. And uh, we're not gonna print to a printer, we're gonna save it as a PDF instead. And we're just gonna save that as 2008 yearbook. And we'll save that in the yearbook directory that we are currently looking at right here. So we'll save that and that'll generate the yearbook. And somewhere in here, probably at the bottom, we have our entire yearbook downloaded as a PDF. Guys, if you wanna go a little bit deeper with the wget command, I have a video over here on that topic. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.